everyday look. So if you're interested in learning how to do it, stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to use Elf Mineral Infused Face Primer. And I'm just going to use this small dab will do ya. And I'm just going to apply this all over my face, making sure to get complete coverage. This is just going to make my face um, kind of matte and that way it'll be ready for the makeup that I'm going to put on it. And it also keeps my makeup on all day. Okay. First for foundation, I'm going to take Bare Minerals and Original and my color is fairly light. And I'm just going to add a little into the cap. And um, as the product says, you're going to swirl, tap, and buff. First of all, I'm going to take the concealer brush and I'm going to take a little of the excess that's around the lid, swirl, tap, and buff. And I'm going to buff this into those areas that I need a little bit more coverage. Um, for example, I have issues with dark circles under my eyes every so often. So I usually apply it under my eyes and as well as into the corners of my eyes as well. And since the show started, I've had a few breakouts. Um, so I'm going to cover those up as well. I have very sensitive skin, so I'm a huge, huge supporter and fan of Bare Minerals makeup because it doesn't break my face out and it allows my face to breathe as well. I don't feel like I have a lot of makeup on. I feel very natural and um, that's what I love, love, love about this product. So next I'm going to take the Full Face brush. I'm going to swirl tap and I'm just going to buff it all over my skin. Another thing I like about this is they have two versions. They have the original and they have the matte foundations. And I choose the original because um, I'm Scotch Irish heritage and I have a lot of freckles because I'm extremely fair skinned. But I love to show my freckles off and so this doesn't cover them up. It's just very, very natural and very, very sheer. And always remember to take your makeup below your jawline so you won't have that weird mark along your chin line. Another good thing is Bare Minerals doesn't do that either. And now I'm going to take Warmth and I'm going to apply that to the areas of my face where the sun would um, normally uh, hit. And it just takes a little bit. <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm very fair skinned. So I don't want to look too bronzed over, but this just adds like a nice little healthy glow to your skin um, that we all look for. So just apply that to um, my cheeks and the top of my nose, my chin, and my forehead. And now I'm going to take a mineral veil and I'm going to apply that all over my face. This is the finishing powder um, that Bare Minerals has in their line and I'm going to take the full face brush again and I'm just going to buff that into my skin. This is going to give you that airbrush look that everybody loves to see in the magazines and things like that. It diminishes your pore, the look of your pores and um, it's just a great way to finish out your foundation routine. Okay, next I'm going to take Elf's Eye Brow Duo and I'm going to use the lighter color. I'm going to use the brush that comes with the kit. And I'm going to fill in my brows. And I am not a natural redhead. I'm a natural blonde. So my brows are a little bit lighter than my hair color now. So this is um, a great way to just kind of make your eyebrows fit your hair color a little bit more. And also it's a good thing to do. It helps um, give you a nice polished finish, finish look. Excuse me. And uh, they frame your face nicely when you fill them in. Next, I'm going to be using Elf's um, Eyebrow Mascara in Clear. And basically, this just um, sets your eyebrows so you don't have any flyaways or anything like that. And again, it's just making that nice, polished, finished look. So I'm going to apply that to both my eyebrows. 
And as you'll see, um, I'm a huge fan of e.l.f. Cosmetics, Eyes Lip Face Cosmetics. Um, I'm using their eye primer here. We're going to apply that all over the lid up to the brow bone. And um, I'm a huge fan of their, their makeup. And so uh, you'll see uh, repeated e.l.f. products in this uh, tutorial as we go along. And I'm going to cover my eyelid all the way up to the brow bone. And I'm also going to take it underneath my eye a little bit because I do occasionally um, do like a um, everyday smoky eye or, or things like that. And um, I want to make sure that the shadow I put underneath my eye will stay. And this is a great product. If you've not tried it, I would recommend you get on. All their products are very inexpensive. Okay, next I'm going to take my e.l.f. Studio Palette to go. And um, this is a, another great product. The two palettes that you see now will actually pop out of that and I can place them into the convenient little to-go container that I'm showing you now. And the shadows I have in there now are um, the ones that I use on a daily basis. So first of all, we're going to take this very kind of light tan color. And we're just going to go all over the lid, all the way up to the brow bone. And this is just going to be a base for the rest of the color that we're going to apply later. And um, this little kit is very, very, um, it's great to take on the go with you. You just pop it in your bag and you've got your eyeshadows, lip gloss, and a bronzer. So next we're going to take um, a bit of a lighter shade of brown and pl just apply that over the lid and we're going to apply many colors but each one will get increasingly darker and that way we're just gonna have more and more rich colors that we're gonna keep building and building so I just added a, a nice kind of chocolate brown matte color to my eye I'm adding that to both uh, eyelids making sure that I get a good smooth coverage on both eyelids okay and I'm also using the um, flat eye um, eyeshadow brush from elf now I'm going to use um, their fluffy eyeshadow brush which I love um, they're my new favorite brush from elf Tapping off the excess I'm going to start at the outer corner of my eye and just work that in through the crease and I'm using a, um, a very dark almost reddish brown color and um, just working it out having it a little darker at the corner of my eye and again working it in using windshield wiper motions making sure I have a good even coverage in my crease And I try as best as possible to get both eyes even, but you know, no one's perfect, so do do the best you can. <laughs> and as always, we're gonna take the same brush and we're just gonna blend it out. We don't want any harsh edges with our eyeshadow. We want everything to look nice and uh, put together and smooth. So now I'm gonna take the fluffy brush and I'm going to add that first color we added, that light tan color. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna place it right under my brow bone as a little bit of a highlight. And again, taking your brush and blend, 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 make sure everything is smooth. Okay, so we're done with our eyeshadows now. And the next product that I am gonna use is from e.l.f. as well it's their eyeliner pins and I absolutely love this I usually use pencil liner but um, I find that I can get a very thin line with this and it's very precise and so I just start in the uh, inner corner of my eye or outer corner however is comfortable for you don't feel like you have to draw a straight line all the way across from the get-go um, just take your time and um, I do a very thin line um, 
because I like the clean look of it. But feel free if you want to do a little wing um, at the end of them for a little bit more glamorous look, feel free to do that. It's your makeup. Have fun doing it. Enjoy doing it. Okay, so I've got both eyes lined. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the e.l.f. Um, eye pencil in black and I'm just going to uh, line my lower waterline. Now this does take some practice so if, if you're a newbie at using eyeliner just take your time. Don't get in a hurry. It does take some practice to train your eyes so you're not blinking all over the place. I'm just make sure I got, again getting an even coat on both eyes. All right. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes, making sure that I don't catch my eyelid. And that again, for you makeup newbies out there, this takes a little practice to don't get it too close to your eyelid like I just did. You don't want to pinch yourself. Just give a few squeezes with the curler and there you go next I'm gonna take great lash mascara one of my favorites and I'm going to start at the outer corner of my eye and working my way in blinking my lashes against the wand as I go so I can coat each and every lash next I'm gonna go back starting at the base of my lashes and I'm going to wiggle 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 all the way up to the top. This is going to evenly coat them but as well it's going to separate each lash so you don't have any clumps. Again starting from the outer corner of my eye blink 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 all the way into my inner corner and then after I coat each lash I'm going to wiggle 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 up to the top separating those lashes. So I can have some nice full lashes without false eyelashes. And also I'm going to apply a little mascara to my lower lashes as well. Next I'm going to use e.l.f. blush. As you can see it's a nice neutral color. The label on the back is kind of small, so I know y'all can't see this very well. But no worries, I'll put it in the um, description box. I will make sure to write all of the, the product names, their colors, down below. I'm just going to use one of my Bare Minerals brushes. And I just apply that on the apples of my cheeks. And last of all, I'm going to use e.l.f. Um, lip tint, a moisturizing lip tint. This stuff is great. It's a nude color that I've got. Um, I've got a little bit of a smoky eye, brown smoky eye, and I don't want too much, too much glamour or drama during the daytime. But um, that just gives a nice moisturizing um, gloss and finish. And we're done. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you later.